what is up? Welcome back to the Daily Dose. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Saturday morning. The skies are blue. I think the sun's sort of out. But um, yeah, I just want to apologise for my absence this whole week. Uh, I've I made a vlog last Sunday. I didn't release it till last night, which was Friday. So apologies for that. But I'm gonna try and get back on track. I have been a little bit busy um, this week. That's why I've not really had time to vlog. Uh, but the vlog content is gonna go up hopefully. Um, but we'll see what happens. Right now, I'm just going to the gym. Gonna get this workout in. Summer 2016 six pack. No, I'm kidding. Guys, I've just finished at the gym. Um, I had to cut it short, man. The hay fever is killing my eyes and my nose and stuff. So, got a quick pump in, did some tries, did some cardio. Uh, but I need to go to town now, get some blank CDs. A lot of you guys have been asking me for mixtapes, and I'm so sorry I've not delivered. I've just not had any time to go into town and get some stuff. So, I'm going to go in today. I'm also going to do a, um, a new YouTube video. And this can either go two... two <laughs> this can either go one of two ways the first this could get some amazing traction people could see it and j music the, my youtube channel could blow up in a major way if not then no one will see it but i need to do this so strategically because this certain youtuber is so big right now like he's getting so much traction i'm gonna try and make a video about him um and it's not what you think I'm not going to expose anything else, I've already said too much but I'm going to make this video about a YouTuber and it's going to seem like something but it's something else so stay tuned for that um, but yeah, I'm about to go to town, get some CDs do the mixtapes for you guys another track will be out this month as well uh, from the second mixtape so the month of June, um, nothing will be coming out because like I said, Ramadan's coming up but the month of June, um, just before then I'm going to be dropping a track from my second mixtape and I'm not in a position to stop dropping tracks, like I'm not a J. Cole or a Drake where they can drop one fire album or fire mixtape and then they can take a break for three years. I can't do that, so I've got to do that. Um, I've got to just stop popping out tracks now. So one's coming out, end of this month. I'm recording it on Monday. Uh, not this Monday, next Monday. And then that'll be out probably the, that Friday. And then after that, after June, July, that's when the second mixtape will be in full production in August, September time. It's looking hopefully for a release date. So stay tuned. <laughs> Guys, we have just got to Luton, L Town representing. Yeah, I was rep Luton Town, and I know quite a few people from here. Zero one five one. Zero <laughs> oh one five eight two. Russell Peters, isn't it? You know what Something like that. Uh, but we've just hit Berry Park, wow, wow, wow. and oh, as oh, usual, so about, as you? usual, Berry Park is filled with a whole bunch of traffic. And Asians. Well, and a whole a bunch person. of Asians. But it's going to be Asians because it's Berry Park. Um, we're not sure where to eat. You know, Peter, we we always do this. We always come here and eat somewhere lame like, like KFC. Become, become so, There's a few you know, places we do usually go to, but we will <laughs> see what happens. So guys, we've just come to Buffalo Grill. Um, we've never been here before. It's like it's near. Where is it? It's like near KFC. So say it's on Burry Park. Okay. It's on Burry Park. Uh, we parked up in Sainsbury's. <laughs> But yeah, so Buffalo Grills, we're gonna see what it's like. We're just waiting for a table. So I've just finished eating at uh, Buffalo Grill. And honest to God, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. It's one of the best places I've ever eaten. Shout out to Kashif for uh, recommending it. But yeah, Buffalo Grill in Luton, make sure you can come here. The food was amazing. I got the chicken steak, um, uh, with some fries and stuff, mashed potatoes. And the platter was amazing. Presentation, service was on point as well. Uh, but yeah, 10 out of 10, hands down. Uh, oh, by the way, guys, tomorrow, um, I'm heading to the um, Body Power Expo. I forgot to say, um, but yeah, me and Cash are heading to the expo. I went last year, it was an amazing experience. Uh, we met the Hodge twins out there. Uh, but yeah, this year, I'm gonna try and meet Christian Guzman. Um, for those of you guys that don't know who he is, um, he's basically like a bodybuilder, he's a beast. 
Uh, he, I think he used to be um, sponsored by, or maybe still is by Gymshark, but he's got his own clothing brand called Alpha Elite. Uh, so I'm gonna try and meet him. I'm gonna try and get a shout out for my cousin from Christian. My cousin's a big fan, but he's revising for exams, so he can't make it. So shout out to Aslan for, you know, for that. But I'm gonna get Christian to say something to him, hopefully. But yeah, the Body Power Expo is gonna be amazing. But yeah, see how it goes. Change of plan. Uh, we were going to go to Icebox, but we've come here to Desert Rose instead. It's got a nice atmosphere in here. It's not really smoke tea shop, but you know, it's got a nice vibe in here. Yeah. Oh. Disappointed, man. I'll pull out home. So, just finished that Desert Rose. It's late, I'm tired, about to go home. Um, when I get home, there's a segment of Ask Astan. Uh, there's three questions coming. Stay tuned. Guys, before I conclude this vlog, um, I'm just going to finish it off with another episode of Ask Asan. So, three questions from the same guy. Um, Akmal Akram, shout out to him, he's been supporting since day one, he's always sharing the vlogs, so shout out Akmal. Um, the battery is running really low, um, and I, I don't know where the charger is, so I'm going to quickly answer these three questions. So, the first question I got was, what do you think of the community in Ellsbury? Um, well, like most communities, you're going to get some haters and you get some people supporting you. Um, right now, I think it's 50-50, and like I said, a lot of people are going to say, what's he on about haters? Like I said in previous vlogs, if you've done anything or you're pursuing anything that will make you successful, make you someone better, try and better yourself, you will have haters 100%. I've already seen a few people throwing their shade at me, um, you know, oh, why are you doing YouTube? Why are you doing rap? Oh, da, 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 da. I don't I don't comment on your music because of this and this, this and this. I don't subscribe. Whatever, man. That's, that's basically life. A lot of people are going to do that. So, you know, it's whatever. It's all love, man. I'm always going to give love no matter how people respond to me. So... Yeah, um, community in Ellsbury, it's all good, it's 50-50 for me, man. The second question is what I thought about Corrin in school. Corrin in school, so basically it was a school I went through from year 7 to 11, for America is from grade 7 to 11. Corrin in school um, was a terrible school in terms of education, but I learned a lot of life, life lessons in that, um, in that school. I met a lot of amazing people, um, some people that aren't in my life anymore, but they taught me a lot. Um, and hanging out with different people, seeing things from a different perspective, perspective i always played it on the sideline i never really got involved with people um you know i was kind of like in the middle i wasn't a popular kid or a nerd but i i saw things from the outside perspective thing looking in um and quarter in school it taught me uh, many lessons but i education wise i hated it but um, it taught me some amazing lessons so in that sense i love quarter in school and the last question is am i ready for the up and coming ramadan man you know what um every year you know you try and prepare you try and get ready but as soon as that first day comes um, you know, it's a blessing and you don't always hit you sometimes because it's such an amazing day amazing period um, But yeah, I, I feel like I'm ready, you know, like God like thank God I've been I've been practicing it for, for many years now um, You know, I'm keeping up with the five daily prayers as well, not just during Ramadan, but just throughout the year um, So Ramadan, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, you know, it's, it's an amazing part of the year um, The 30 days of like just being tranquil is amazing. So, you know, it's nice and my whole aura changes um, And I just I just feel good um, Akbal, thank you very much for your um, for your questions. Like I said, the battery is running out. So, guys, if you enjoyed this vlog, give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next vlog. Peace and love.